Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel called Communicate where I try to solve your research related queries. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can merge your different plots in origin into one single graph. So uh, I will show you two different ways to do this. So uh, let's just get started. For example, I have taken here these three graphs, graph number three, four and five. And if I want to merge them in, in one single sheet, for example, I want to take these all in one single sheet. First of all, we'll do that. OK, so for that, uh, what we'll do is, first of all, I'll select these three graphs here, graph number three, four and five. Then we'll go to this option called graph and then we'll click on this merge graph windows and then go to open dialog. OK, so now here at the in the right hand corner, you can see that all these graphs are now in one single sheet. And if you want something like that, you can just directly press OK here and then you will. Uh, yeah, you will get this another window open up here where all these graphs are plotted in one single sheet and then you can just export this as an image. So actually this is not uh, very impressive and usually nobody use this format to present their graphs and and another method to do something like that uh, is if you want to plot all these graphs in one single graph okay for example you want uh, graph number three four and five plotted in one single graph right so for that what you have to do so it, it is very important that for such a graph, you first of all make the scale of all these graphs same because if the if the scale is not same, then it is very difficult to adjust them in one single graph. And even if you do, then the, there will be problem with the axis, right? So first of all, I will make sure that I change the scale and make it same for all the all the plots. So I will change it to 400 to 700 for all the three graphs. OK. So we will do the same procedure for all of these. 400 to 700 with an increment value of 50. So I will make it same for all my plots. OK. So we have made the scale of X axis similar for all my graphs and now I will quickly see and check if the y axis scale is same or not. So uh, it looks like it is same, but then also we can click on the y axis and check. OK, it is from minus 0 0.1 to 1 with an increment value of 0 0.2. Let me see if it is same for my this. Um, OK, not this for the y axis in graph 4 or not. OK, now here it is to 1.1. I can change this one also to 1 with an increment value of 0 0.2. And similarly, for my graph number five also, I will just quickly check. OK, this is from minus 0 0.1 to we'll change it to one with an increment value of 0 0.2. And now, OK, so once I have made the scale of all my graphs same, now I can easily merge these graphs in one single plot. And to do, to do this again, I will select all these graphs, graph number three, four, and five, I have selected them and then I will go to this option called graph and then merge graph windows and then open dialog. OK, so what you have to do is see if you want to export them separately in one sheet, you can just click on OK and export it as an image. But as I told you, this is not very impressive and it takes obviously a lot of space and it is not very good if you want to do a comparative study. And for a comparative study, usually we want that all these graphs should be plotted in one single graph. OK, so for that, what you have to do is you will have to change the number of rows to one and number of columns also to one. OK, so when you do that, there is a problem with the page setup. So for that, you will have to change the page setup to landscape. So as soon as you do, right? So you can see in the right hand corner that now all your three plots are plotted in now one single graph and looks pretty nice if you want to make a comparative study. OK, so now what I'll do is just press OK and uh, another window is just open where all these plots are now plotted in one single graph. Now we have got our plot. OK, so obviously we want to if you want to edit it, change the colors, increase and decrease the width of the lines that all can be done here. So for that, first of all, let me decrease the size of uh, this plot by control A. I will just select all of it and then just yeah decrease 
the size so that we can easily edit it let me just move it around okay so as you see here uh, this wavelength looks pretty uh, thick here because it is having three graphs below that so we can just delete two uh, two of it okay so okay now we have just one single uh, caption here called wavelength and similarly on the y axis we will delete the two extra options here and then edit one of it as absorbance so this all can be obviously done right you can just write absorbance uh, here yeah so as you can see we can edit obviously like this and uh, yeah depends on you what you want to write here for example you can just say okay red line is my complex one blue line is my complex two right and then maybe these black lines correspond to complex three okay so you can do something like that and arrange them properly that all can be done you can play around you can increase and decrease the width as you might have seen in my previous uh, video of origin using that video you can just edit uh, this graph according to your own wish and once it is done you can go on the option called file and then export graph as image and then open dialog and then save it at any place of your own choice on your computer so this is how guys you plot different plots in one single graph and these were just three plots that i showed you but if you like you can plot five graphs six graphs seven graphs or as many as you want in one single graph and then do an awesome comparative study using such a nice graph so guys i think this video will be really helpful for you and if it is helpful for you then go and share it with your friends who might need it till then i will make sure to come back with yet another cool video for you all so bye bye